What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast. So today I want to go over a couple of these defensive plays uh, against the Chiefs. It's not going to be fun, but we're going to have fun doing it. So let's just hop right into it. First play I want to go over is a big pass to Tyreek Hill down the sideline. Now for a team that doesn't like to play man, I'm not really sure why you would ever man up Steven Nelson with Tyreek Hill, but that's what they decided to do here. And if you can see, Rodney McLeod is just totally out of the play. He's like 50 yards back. I, I don't understand what the actual point of this defense is, but you got a one-on-one -on -one and Tyreek Hill is going to win those 90% of the time. So as much as I want to blame this on the players, like coaches, you, you just got to be smarter than this. Next play we're looking at is against Tyreek Hill. And I want you to look at Jannard Avery. And I want you to look at the bottom of the screen again with Darius Slay here. Darius Slay just basically leaves him. It looks like it's supposed to be zone, but it seems like Jannard Avery just didn't get the message and he didn't cover the over the middle. Our linebacker takes the flat and ends up leaving the middle wide open for a passing lane for Patrick Mahomes. Not an easy throw, great read, great throw by Patrick Mahomes, but as far as the defense goes, you have to cover the middle of the field. Now, next I wanna look at a running play. Yes, a running play. We were getting gashed every single time. And if you look at this play, you look at the linebackers taking on blocks. That's not your job, my guy. And these safeties, why are these safeties nearly at the 50 yard line? It just makes no sense. You know, Gannon, you got to you got to take some chances. I understand you might not have the team you want, but you have the team you have. Make something happen with these guys. Another run play here. I mean, what do you say? What do, what do you say? You know, linebackers getting turned around, taking on unnecessary blocks, defensive linemen pursuing way too far up the field. And you, again, your safeties are about 40 yards behind the, the line of scrimmage. It's just I don't understand what the mindset is here. For anyone that likes Anthony Harris might want to, you know, close your eyes on this one. We're going to key in on him. This is the last touchdown that they, I believe the last one that Tyreek Hill, just a busted play. And they turned my man around twice. We're going to watch it again. They, they, not once, but twice. This was, I don't, again, I don't understand why you're doing single coverage. I don't know why you're doing man on man coverage with somebody like Tyreek Hill, but I don't understand why you, <laughs> Why are you getting turned around like this, man? This is just embarrassing. This, I mean, there's nothing else to read. The defensive line got some pressure and he was wide open. This is, it just needs to stop. It needs to get better. Jonathan Gannon, you have to begin to put your players in position to make plays. And right now you are not doing that. But hopefully we can start against the Carolina Panthers. Other than that, man, y'all know what it is. This fly equals fly and we are out here. Peace. Jackson like Sean, hunting like Randolph.